So today I'm going to do a look for you again and I do have a new product to show you but it doesn't come until the end so you'll have to stay hanging around until then. These are the earrings that Lulu sent me. I'll link her Etsy site below. I'm going so my moisturizer today is the Nivea cream the one that they say is like the La Mer um, moisturizing cream. Feels pretty good. I'm going to put on a an eyeshadow primer. I'm going to use the Kosas as my eyeshadow primer today. I have the color Supreme and it's got shaker beads in it. So you know what that means? You're supposed to shake it. It's chilly here today. I have on a rail shirt and a cute t-shirt. I think I've shown you this t-shirt before. It's got lips on it. Enough of the shaking. Put some on. It's called 10 Second Eyeshadow, Liquid Eyeshadow. So I'm working fast. And I'm just taking it up to the crease. And there you have it. Bam! And you have eyeshadow primer. Alright, I'm going to use a Kevin Aquan Duo little, little thing like this today. And I'm going to begin with the darker one. And it's another wine palette. What is it called? It's called Silvered Lilac. It's number 216. It's probably discontinued. But I will, if it is discontinued, I will link something similar. So this is going to be a simple eye look using those colors that I love. I'm going to bring it underneath. I'm making it challenging by using a, a big brush instead of using a pencil brush. We haven't found another good TV show. The last good one we saw was The Undoing with Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant. We haven't found another good one. We attempted Ron twice. Besides it having unnecessary stuff in it, it also just didn't go anywhere. Alright, now I'm going to take the other one that's not matte and go over the border. Yeah, okay, that one's coming up cooler. Same color, but a little bit cooler. And I'll shape up the outs the way that I want the outside to look when I put on conceal. Well, here we go. We'll do it now. This is a my microfiber towel on it. You don't have to wipe very hard. It it's like an eraser. That looks okay. It looks all right. I'm going to take my Night Moth pencil, put that on my waterline. I was frantically searching for this pencil before I started this video. I had put it in an unusual spot, but I found it. I probably should buy another one before they discontinue it. I know, right now it looks like my eyes are sick. But once you get the black mascara on, it all comes together. So I put it on the waterline and drug it down between the lashes a little bit. I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to use my, I'm going to use the Clump Crusher second. I'm not going to use it first. 
I'm using the Extended Play Giga Black first. So I've started using my eyelash serum again. And I'm going to try to be consistent so I can get my eyelashes to grow back. So yes, the point of this is where, in case you have you don't watch my channel, I usually use an eyelash primer, and I have been using the Tarte Opening Act. And uh, viewers said she uses the Clump Crusher because it holds a curl and it builds and doesn't run. It pairs well with other mascaras. So I got some uh, CoverGirl Clump Crusher and instead of using a lash primer, I'm just pairing it, trying it with different mascaras. Yesterday I tried it with the Too Faced Better Than Sex and the outcome was only okay. All right, now for the clump crusher. This brush is good for separating your lashes. I think I've dotted it here and there. When, when it dries, I'll clean that up. Hopefully I'll remember to clean it up. All right, let's do eyebrows. While I was searching for my Night Moth pencil, I came across my Brow Gal pencil. So I pulled it back out of the kit so I can use it on myself. This is the Brow Gal number two palette powder. And the past, the previous two videos, I was using the medium color. I wasn't using the darkest color in the palette. But today I'm using the darkest color in the palette. My brow color does kind of depend on what kind of eyeshadow I'm using. What kind of eyeshadow look I've done. Alright, I'm going to put on the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter and comb that through. I like big bushy brows. And now I'm going to use the brow pencil from Brow Gal to draw some hairs in the front. And then I'm going to look here and fill in any holes I see. There's a high pitch ring in here. In here. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's my ears or if there really is a high pitch ringing in here. All right, let's do the under brow, the brow highlight. Today I'm going to use High Brow by Benefit, and the inspiration for that is I saw somebody else use it on a video I was watching this morning can't remember who it was I was watching. Anyway, my highbrow is super old. So it's super tiny. I'm going to take a concealer brush. Well, I'm going to use this brush. This is a good one. This one is by uh, Jaclyn Hill. It's number 43. I think it was made just for this sort of thing. I'm going to leave the room and see if the ringing is in my ears or in this room. It was in this room. It was one of the computers. I unplugged it, so now it can't make that noise anymore. Okay, I'm going to go back with this brush. This is the original color. All right. 
right, let's see if we can clean up where I bumped. Let's do some more clump crusher. Okay. Let's do, oh yeah, black eyeliner. This is my Tom Ford Cold Intense. I think it is. It's a great pencil. For my foundation, I'm going to, my face is plenty moisturized. I'm gonna take some of the Cover FX, put it in the center of my face. You know what? This could be what's drying out my face. Because it says matte, blurring, no it doesn't say matte. I only thought it said matte. It really is blurring too. This is some good stuff. The reason y'all are just now seeing it in my videos is because it's been living in my kit. The NARS, all right, well, I can't find the brush I was using yesterday. I'm gonna use the NARS Soft Matte. Where's the lid? And I'm using a Mali brush. I don't see my Bodellium. It's this kind, it's a dual fiber kabuki looking thing and it's really good. I love this brush. It just says Mally. And when I look for it, it I think they list it as a foundation brush and I think I can only find it on QVC. I know I'm the queen of discontinued. I'm going to take these out so I don't bump them anymore while I'm while I'm applying makeup. So it's pretty much all the way blended in now. Now I'm just kind of buffing to make sure it's got a smooth application. All right, let's do a bronzer. We're going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer today. And the color is Endless Summer. Now, what there when it's a little brush. This smells like kettle corn, too. I'm going to use it as a blush, bronzer and contour. I don't know why I haven't been using this. I think somebody said something negative about it in the comments and it got in my head and made me feel like I felt the same way. Oh, I know. Vicki says it goes patchy on her. So I started imagining that it goes patchy on me. We'll see today. I'll let you know. It, it could be that it did go patchy. Where are you going with this fancy look, Jenny? I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm letting it get good and warm. I guess the high today will be at 2 p.m. So I'm waiting for 2 p.m. to go on my walk. I think that's pretty. Here, I'm gonna put some on the bottom lash line. I like that. I want it a little darker right here. There we go. Now, I want some more clump. Maybe I want some MAC Giga Black. Yeah, I don't want to put lashes on. I hadn't worn lashes and I don't know. I didn't wear them yesterday, but this morning when I was in the shower, I was still picking lash glue out. All right. I need some lip chap. This is the lip stuff from 
Clinique Moisture Surge. Mm, I know, my lips feel dry because I put foundation on it, and it's that matte foundation. Oh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Let's do that. Put it under here. Do an exclamation point. Like that. Top lip. Use my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm going to be very gentle because I've been exfoliating the underneath of my eyes because I've been too aggressive. Oh boy, that's so pretty. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and the color brightener never disappoints. So while the camera was cooling off, I put this blush on. It's by NYX. It's Sweet Cheeks. It's the Glow. And the color is Fig. Blush powder. Yes. And I, I put it on as a highlight. It's re really glowy, right? All right. Then what else did I do? I put on a dot more of the Kosas in the center of my eyelids. And now I'm going to share my new purchase. It's Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick Palette in Moody and nu Nudie. And it's got a holographic thing on it. And this is the colors in the palette. And I'm going to create a look with that. And I'm going to use a Bedellium uh, 542 brush. It looks like, looks like this. To create this look. I'm going to go in with the, the darkest color and outline my lips. That's what we have so far. And this is the darkest one from the palette. And what I like most about it is it's not It doesn't go terracotta on me. Okay, there's that. Let's see. Then I'm going to take another one. And fill in. The best part about this palette is it was on sale. I lost my line all together with. But it's still making a pretty look. And then I'm going to take the lightest color, put that in the center. There we go. So I used this color. Whoops, there went the brush. I used that color, that color, and that color to create this lip. Let me get the brush. It ricocheted towards me. How often does that happen? I'm going to clean up the jawline and I'm going to use my Perfect Peach from Too Faced and I need a, I'm going to use this powder brush 
This is a soft little travel brush from Hakuhodo. I enjoy using this brush. It gives me joy. And when you breathe this, it tastes like peaches. And I'm going to take some, a more affordable spray today. This one is rose water from Heritage Store. let that all settle in. Let's comb the eyelashes out. Even though I use the clump crusher, they're they're not quite as separated as I'd I'd like. Okay. So I was telling you about that. This is, uh, I think I got this from Nordstrom Rack. I'm pretty sure I did. The colors I used were Coffee Run, High, and Latte Matte. Clean off the center some and put some more Latte Matte. Very nice. I like this little kit. I got it with the intention of putting it in my kit, my kit kit for brides. That's a pretty subtle look for a bride, right? Let me know in the comments what you think. This is a, a Rails t-shirt, I mean button down, and this is the t-shirt I have on with it. show it to you and it keep I'll link it below there may they may still have some of these left thank you so much for being here today I enjoyed making this look for you I hope you enjoyed it and if you haven't already please subscribe activate the notification bell Share this video with a friend, leave a comment, and give it a thumbs up. Also, check out the links so that you can see, get a better look of the products I used, and get you a Bride Bright Teeth Whitening Kit. And, if you're a big fan, buy a Charleston Makeup Artist t-shirt running a special for this video only, half off.